The Colorado Center for the Blind. Take charge with confidence and self-reliance. I started ta talking to Sarah several, many, many months before she started at the center. And um, I loved talking to her from the minute I got to talk to her. Because we have a lot of very similar interests. Counseling, women's studies, um, she's getting her master's degree, and I have my master's degree in the same field, and she wanted to be a best blind person in the whole world that she could ever be, and um, she is, of course. Um, she wanted to come to the center for that purpose, and at first when I talked with her, I thought, oh no, she's from Indiana, this isn't good. <laughs> in the past, it's been almost impossible to get um, anything, anyone from Indiana to the center. There is very hard. And then a couple months later, I got Sarah had put everything together perfectly. She talked with our counselor. She had great justification, and it all came through so smoothly. And I, I was, I have to say, I was really surprised because. <laughs> That has never happened from Indiana, but it happened because Sarah is the one that took charge of it all and put it all together. And um, Sarah has worked so, so hard in every area since she's arrived at the center. And um, she, um, Sarah, you're such a giving person. You care so much about other people. And you definitely have a gift to be an amazing counselor. And um, I know that anyone that works with you um, in that area is going to be so fortunate. It's also no shock to me, no surprise to me, and not to anyone here, that she won one of the biggest scholarships at <laughs> genuine and um, you have worked very hard you completed everything and um, she worked for hours and hours on this meal I know I talked to her a couple weeks ago and she had gone to the international market and that was at nine o'clock at night and she was just getting home to buy some more ingredients for her meal and um, you know Sarah, we're going to be, I'm going to be with you forever, <laughs> whether she you want me or not, and um, I am so proud to present to you the Bell of Freedom. Yeah, girl. And on the back. Sarah can take charge. <laughs> Colorado Center for the Blind, 2015. Congratulations. <laughs> strong enough to face them, not because of just the skills that I have, although that certainly does help, but because of the incredible support that I have along the way. Um, I'm so grateful for, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm just so grateful <laughs> for each of you who have played a role in my 
my growth and my development and my journey over the last eight and a half or nine months. I mean, not counting Christmas break, I guess it was eight and a half months. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, I just, I truly am so blessed um, coming, coming here to the center was one of the best things that I've ever done for myself. Um, I did have to work for it a little bit, you know, with getting VR to approve of things and stuff, but um, it was definitely the most worthwhile endeavor I've ever undertaken. Um, I'm so grateful for, for each of my instructors. Um, you guys have just invested in me in so many ways. Um, both in the classroom and outside, and um, and I'm just I'm so grateful for the just the the fact that I know that I have support here and oh gosh um, yeah I just I think what there there have been so many things that I've learned out here um, but I finally feel like I am headed in the direction that I meant to be headed and I feel like my training here has really given me the confidence um, and the belief to be able to do that and um, so I, I do feel ready for grad school um, even though I'm still scared of learning the Mac but uh, <laughs> but I know I can now <laughs> so, um, and so many other things and so um, I just I love you all. I'm thankful for just all of the friendships. Um, I'm thankful for Ahimsa being an amazing teacher's assistant for home management. <laughs> um, and just um, yeah, just all of you have just really blessed me in so many ways, and I really can't come up with adequate words to express that. Um, so. I stop soon, except except that I want to say that like um, my understanding of family and my sense of family has truly grown um, in the last few months, and that has been one of the biggest gifts um, to know that I have a family where um, you know that I belong to, um, and that's now not just in Indiana, but it's in Colorado and it's all over the nation and. Um, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. All. So, thank you. All. And then to learn more about the Colorado Center for the Blind, visit our website at www.cocenter.org or call 303-778-1130.